Some people aspire to have the perfect family. Some people want the perfect job. But all I want is to be Scrooge McDuck and jump to a large fold of not gold, but dice. So in today's video, we're going to interview Neil Hoffman, the CEO of Fanroll Dice. And we're going to talk to him about Elixir Dice, Misfit Dice, and why they changed their name from Metallic Dice Games to Fanroll Dice. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. Thanks for checking out this special episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny, and I'm here with... Neil Hoffman. I am the CEO of Fanroll Dice, and I'm excited to be here. Thanks, Manny. Anything about dice, I'm always love to talk about it. I just love pretty shiny things. But first, let's talk about Fanroll, the name itself. It used to be called Metallic Dice Games. Am I, am I correct? Yes. So we just changed the name. Metallic Dice Games had been around for about 10 years. Uh, the the founder, Adam Hackett, uh, worked at Chessex. Uh, he was an intern there, and he wanted to make metal dice. Chessex at the time wasn't doing metal dice, and he asked for their blessing to do a Kickstarter and uh, make some metal dice, and he launched this out of his college dorm room. And then over the past 10 years, has grown the company into over 300 SKUs. We're really known for our quality and diversity of product, which has uh, dice of all different sizes, materials, different tabletop accessories, which when I came in last summer and bought the company, I thought, you know what, we are not a metallic dice company, uh, and we should probably have a name that reflects that. So it stinks. It's like pulling off a Band-Aid because so many people know and recognize and love the name. Uh, but it's descriptive of a company that we were 10 years ago. So Fanroll Dice and Fanroll, I think, encompasses all of fandom and where we're going. And I think you'll see over the next year, you know, we're going to bring in licenses and new innovations uh, and really dive into fandom. Mm. I, I think one of the best things about going to cons is going to your booth um, and, um, seeing all the selections of dice available and and uh it's amazing how many variety of stuff is out there yet it never seems to be enough <laughs> yeah. you always want more uh, i know at least for myself i want more um but uh there's something particular coming out uh from fan world this year that you're excited about uh, can you share a little bit with uh, about that with us yeah so first of all as i kind of came into the company i really wanted to focus on innovation so we're going to try and release new products approximately every month. Um, it's going to just be a steady stream of new products coming out. Uh, there are two that we're starting with that I'm really excited about. First is our Adopt a Misfit Dice, right? So this is a nice bag. Uh, it has a dice goblin on the front. And the metal set that we started with and where we got the name Adopt a Misfit um, were the ones that had tiny dings or scratches and as we are perfectionists and wanted everything perfect we put them off to the side and as we took a closer look we're like actually these are 99 percent perfect so we put them in a blind pack and instead of paying 42 dollars, you get it for 25 bucks the value is awesome and as you mentioned about cons I, whenever we sell these accounts, I make people open them in front of us because I love to see their reactions. And I'll tell them, I'm like, if you're not 100% happy, we'll take them back. You can open another set, right? I mean, we are in this to delight everyone. And these have been so red hot that we then expanded it and we are doing a set of resin dice. Uh, so it will be a complete set of seven, but all different styles. Uh, so you might get, you know, different effects, different inclusions. Uh, and then we decided, you know what, people love the minis. So we also did a mini set that has two complete sets of minis inside. Uh, and both of those are only $10 because we were looking for something. We know people, you know, money's tight. We, they just want to grab something at the counter, go have an experience with it. Uh, and the reaction so far has been awesome. People love blind packs and just that experience of opening it up and seeing what you got it's like when you were a kid and you were opening up you know garbage pail kids mm, i remember those days um so is, is this only available at cons can we get this online as well 
the, it's online on our site and it is going out through all the major distributors, which means it's going to be hitting comic shops, gaming shops uh, within the next month. Wow, excellent, excellent. Let's talk about a little bit what, what you released recently. There's one die uh, uh, which, which you sent, uh, which a company has sent to me, which I I heard about and I was like, all right, I want to see it for myself. And I and yes, it's the most beautiful thing I've I've ever seen. It's my favorite D20 now. Uh, I, I will I will put a a separate picture below um, next to this video so viewers can see more clearly what I mean but this dice it's like it's clear and it's it's, it's this um, sparkly effect to it tell us about this this is like a new technology isn't it yeah so that is called our elixir dice uh use liquid core technology so in order to make those dice they're handmade and we make a ball filled with mineral oil and glitter and then we cast the die around it and then they are uh, polished by hand because they're sharp edge dice. So we sell the complete sets. Uh, we have four different sets and we actually have, I believe six new colors coming out next month. Uh, we also sell the D twenties, the twenties by themselves are coming to stores and they come in this little collectible jar. Uh, so this is, really cool we're actually switching it from glass to plastic just to make sure everybody is safe uh and the the newest version of those have kind of a clear resin on the outside so the one you have we kind of did a grayish dice with color in the middle the next wave is clear dice with colors in the middle it's a totally different look but with the same technology and it's awesome Wow. If I may ask, um, how, how soon can this be in my hands? Let's see. I got, I got to check the wall of uh, shipping. So those are shipping uh, within the next couple weeks. So you will see those in stores uh, by the beginning of April. Hmm. I, I see that you're also expanding to doing like um, dice towers. Like um, there's a, a leather one. I saw that uh, yep. you recently have released. Is that is that something you're looking into as well? Kind of expanding just, just dice, but the accessories around to keep to, to use dice. Yeah. So our dice trays are in our top three items that we sell. People love the dice trays, uh, especially as we started in metal dice. They protect your table. They make the rolls nice. Uh, they're portable because they fold down flat. And then we went into towers and the towers clip right onto the trays and they work interchangeably. Um, then we are also doing dice bags. And then we are, you know, you'll see from us in the next year, uh, more and more innovations. They're not just dice, there are other accessories or even replacements for dice. So things that you can use to spin that uh, give you a number between one and 20 that are not dice uh, that are gonna be kind of fun. Now I know you, uh, your company has has been going to cons in the past. Now that uh, the name change to Fanroll has taken place, are you doing anything different when it comes to presentation at cons? Is there a different marketing plan? You know, we're figuring that out. Uh, the look will change for sure. I think uh, the new branding is gorgeous. I like how it's kind of elevated us. We will still be going to all the major cons. We have three booths at Gen Con. Uh, we're hitting C2E2, Megacon, uh, PAX East, West, and Unplugged. Uh, I'm trying to get us into Dragon Con. Uh, they're, they're not accepting new dice companies, but I'm trying to convince them. Uh, and I think you'll see a little bit different presentation as we focus on different items, like the Elixir dice and the experience of opening up the blind packs. Uh, but you could still expect to come and see lots of variety you know people love seeing a hundred different styles of dice and that's what we'll continue with mm. and if i may uh, ask oh sorry go ahead i would say the other thing that really separates us from the competition i would say at cons is our booth is really hands-on right so you come you roll you touch everything some of the other booths you know you're kind of looking through glass and you know more looking and ours is really we want people to experience and roll our dice and get a feel. And most people decide on whether to buy a dice by rolling it and see if they get a good roll or not. 
If I may ask you a personal question, is there one type of dice that you've made that you're the most proud of? They kind of look at your shelf and and you see it all the time. Like, yeah, <laughs> is there anything like that? I do. I, I love the elixir dice. Um, those are my favorite. And then we just did a new D100 uh, that we were just bringing out to the cons that is really gorgeous. And uh, we fixed it so that it has wider bases. So your rolls, it doesn't roll quite as much like a ball. It's easier to read the numbers. So we improved the function of it, but it also, it feels like a cannonball. Um, I call it the pounder because it's like a pound of dice. Uh, so I, I love that one as well. That's the one I'm always kind of throwing in my hand at, at cons. Oh, okay. Is there anything else coming out that I haven't asked about that you wanted to share about fan roll or this dice? So nothing that we've announced. I would love to talk to you in a couple months or every couple months because the way that we are innovating, we're going to have new stuff coming out all the time. Uh, and at Gen Con, we'll have a big announcement about our first major licensing partner. Uh, and I'm really excited to talk about that, as well as uh, some of the partnerships that we are having with some of the major podcasts out there. Um, for example, and I guess I could debut this here, uh, Dimension 20 is now a partner of ours, and we will be making their dice going forward. Uh, we love those guys. and. Uh, those are the kind of people that we want to associate with, you know, the influencers, the big rollers, um, and we want to be the most premium, you know, but affordable dice company out there. Wow. C congratulations. Um, well, thank uh, you. I'm very intrigued to see what the dice will look like, especially for, particularly for Dimension 20. That's, that's really exciting. Um, so um, be before we wrap up, any last words, anything you want to say to our viewers? You know, Come to FanRoll Dice, sign up for our newsletter, you get coupons, and uh, we have newness coming out all the time. And to me, that's what's exciting is you collect dice because you're always looking for the new. Uh, we are playing with different materials, whether it be silicone, metal, resin, sharp edge, tumbled, uh, mega dice, mini dice. We are constantly messing around and having a ton of fun, and we're fellow geeks. Uh, so I think we're balancing that, you know, we're good at business. So, you know, we're going to be around for a while, but we're doing this because we love it and we're going to the cons. We love talking to people and seeing their faces when, you know, they're rolling and they're talking about their characters and getting excited. Mm. Well, viewers, I'll put a link in the description below where you can check out fan roll. Uh, thank you, sir, for taking the time to talk to us and, uh, to our viewers out there, stay safe. May you keep rolling twenties in life. Take care, everyone.